Hello everybody, Tradus the Villager here, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tradus and today I'm going to be starting a Minecraft Let's Play. Um, but I'm going to be doing something a little different than most people. Um, first of all, uh, I'll explain it when we get in the game, but first let's name our world. Tradus's Let's Play. I'm going to put Season 1 because I don't know if I'm going to change as time goes on, but so far, that's what I'm going to put. Season 1, Game Mode Survival. No, actually, you know what? I want to try, uh, try a creative world. I want to um, do a Let's Play in that. Or, you know what? Um, adventure Mode. I'm going to switch my game mode. <laughs> no, but uh, here we go. We're going to generate structures on, definitely. World type is going to be default. Allow cheats. Just in case I get stuck in a block or something and I can't get out without teleporting and or some some weird glitch that would result in the world getting destroyed. I'm going to allow cheats. It's unlikely that that would happen. But you know, uh bonus chest? Mm, no, I'm going to I'm going to keep keep it more vanilla. And for a seed, let's try let's try our name. Let's be narcissistic here and just try our name and see what what comes out. So this is the seed and if anyone else wants to try it if we get a good world or something. All right. So I think that's everything. Tradus's Let's Play Season 1 is about to begin with a click of this here button. Alright, so while we're loading up the world, um, I would like to explain what exactly it is we're doing. I am in ultra hardcore mode. That's right, everybody. For those of you who are not familiar, the ultra hardcore mod is a mod that makes it so that way your health cannot regenerate without the external use of a golden apple or something of the sort. Um, world's loading in. A golden apple or pff, quite possibly uh, potions. Regeneration potions are out because gas tears have been removed. What is that? That is a village! Okay, great, 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 great. That is a great start. We're on a we're on a great little hill here and look at I see a cave too. That's going to be great. Um but first I'm going to gather some trees because apples. Apples are going to be very very important. And how I'm doing this is because I expect to die quite a bit in this because your hearts do not regenerate. Uh I am going to be doing a death counter for this series. So every time I die, I will add one death to my death counter. Um, so, how I want to do this is because I like Let's Plays where the community is involved as much as possible, and I want you guys to be able to influence how my my playing of the game or my failure to be good at playing, like if I die, I want you guys to have the ability to cause a consequence for that. So, for every time I die, not only will I add a point to my death counter, um, but I will let you guys comment below, and the person who gets top comment with the item in my inventory of the stuff that survives, gets that item gets deleted. So, say I died right this instant. The only thing I have in my inventory was wood, but now I have wooden planks and oak logs. So, you guys could choose, hey, you know what, I think... I think he's a jerk in this episode. I don't like what he did. It was boring. So you guys can say what you want me to delete, and I would delete that item. I would throw it in a lava pit, which I will eventually make. And if I can't make a lava pit, I'll just dig a little hole and cover it up afterward. But that's how it's going to work. Um, these first, like, six-ish episodes, I'm going to stock up. So if I die within those, I'm just going to throw my best item out. But then after that, it should be caught up enough that if I die... Um, you guys can influence how my playing develops. So, if you guys want to be nice and just say, oh, you know what, he he really doesn't need saplings, and just throw those saplings out of his inventory, or, oh, those, see those six sticks? Get rid of them. And I'm not trying to subliminally brainwash you to do that. Or am I? But, um, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go into that village and gather all of its glorious loot. Hopefully it has a blacksmith. That'd be really nice to start out with some basic supplies. Um, 
I'm going to let these trees decay, and then I'm going to come back, because hopefully we'll have some apples by that point, and apples are extremely needed in this, because golden apples. Ooh, there's some coal here. I may as well just get this coal, because I need, uh, I'm going to need it anyway, because I'm going to go down in that cave tonight, hopefully, is the plan. But to do that, I need a pick. So let's make a pick. All right. And for those of you interested, here are the coordinates. I'm going to put this world for download um, in the description below, probably. It may, may not happen for a few episodes, but check there eventually. Uh, and here's my, my FPS. Great. That's super low. I don't know why it's so laggy. But, uh, and my game version. So there we go. <sighs> Now to use the slowest, crappiest pick a man can find to gather some coal before we go and explore a village together. Also, for those of you who are curious and have not seen me before, I am a villager. This is me. I am a librarian villager. And it has become part of my identity. I really love this skin. I don't think you guys are ever going to see me change it. But, you know, everything's subject to change um <laughs> but anyways um that is my skin so villages and i have an affinity because i'm a villager and i live in such villages so villages are going to be a giant part of this world hopefully and i can find a ton of them and trade with my people so yeah that is, is going to be a fun part of this um for the first few episodes, I've decided that I am going to be uh, exploring as much as possible and caving for a lot of it, too, because in the beginning, you need to have some resources. So to get those resources, caving is the best option. Um, I'm not going to be doing strip mining in this video, these videos because, you know, that is boring as all hell, but I may do some of that off-camera work. Um, I'll always let you know before or afterward, I mean... It, what I've done, so that way you guys can catch up. Actually, I need some more stone. Um, and understand that I'm probably not going to be cheating, so don't accuse me of, like, inventory hacking or anything, because that doesn't make the game fun. Um, so, after I grab a little bit of stone, I'm betting, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm not going to make a furnace, I'm just going to get enough for a sword and shovel I guess I don't usually make shovels but I guess I will because it's faster yeah get off uh, alright shovel and there we go for those of you who don't know what I just did uh, and I think this is in the latest update I may be wrong but if you press the uh, the number key on your hotbar when you're hovering over an item like this I'm gonna put to six. Six. If you press the six button, it'll go over here. And look at that, we got a blacksmith, guys. Ooh, also I forgot carrots and potatoes spawn in villages now, so we have some of that. But first, blacksmith. I'm not gonna let you guys I like I like it better that way. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys wait. Ooh, what do you have for sale? Stop. Five for a helmet. Okay. It's not a horrible start off trade. But let's see. Oh wow, we got two of them already. Uh two iron helmets, four obsidian, very good. Ooh, apples. That's such a great start for this let's play. Um an iron ingot. Iron ingot's good too. So now we have a helmet. It's the worst piece of armor I could have asked for though. Besides uh, that, we got a chest as well, because it's right here on the ground. Obsidian's really nice because I don't know when I'm going to get a diamond pick. It's obviously up to how good these caves are. Um, here's some furnace. Ez. Furnaces. That is a plural word. Um, ooh, some free torches, actually. That's something I usually forget about in villages. Click the torch. I clicked the torch. I hate shifting because it makes me all slow. But um, I'm really nervous about taking fall damage and that sort of thing because hearts... When you lose, when you lose them, they don't come back. All right, I'm gonna gather some basic materials here. Oh, you know what? Totally ADD of me, but I really should um, kill some sheep in the case that 
uh, night comes along, I'd rather not have a whole truckload of mobs out here that I have to deal with. And as for food, I think that potatoes should be fine. Er, get back here, sheep. Why did I not pick that up? Uh, and I know there, there's that black wool on the uh, torch lamp post thing. I'm not really sure where it, what the hell I'm supposed to say it is. Uh, I, I'd prefer to just keep it all one color. Don't want to waste the inventory space at this early in the game. That is one thing I'm not great at is inventory management. I'm going to come back for those potatoes. I'm going to gather all the wheat and see if a villager can trade me some delicious emeralds for it. Um, as for starting off, this is great. I love this flat plain land. It's great for building. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here forever. I'm definitely going to do some exploring of the surrounding area, and if this is the best place, I'm going to come back to my spawn. But otherwise, definitely going to explore this first episode. All right. Almost gathered all the wheat. Sorry about this kind of boring ish part to the start but hopefully my beautiful voice no i actually don't like my voice oh my god there's a pumpkin in here what the hell freaked me out i thought there was a snow golem at first <laughs> hello pumpkin i shall obtain you my pumpkin they they added a use you can make pie out of them now but i don't know it doesn't seem like a very viable food source yet because it doesn't doesn't do a whole lot for you like on the healing wise it does as much as Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it heals three hearts of, uh, I just realized I wasn't planning again. Um, I think it heals three hearts, right? Um, and it costs a whole bunch of stuff that I don't have yet, like eggs. I have everything else, never mind. But, uh, sun is setting, so let's go ahead on inside, uh, which home shall we, uh, we, uh, steal from these villagers. I think this one looks pretty fancy, if you ask me. And look, we got some friends who are going to come along for it, for this. I shall protect you, seeing I'm the only one who is intelligent among us. Alright, making a bed, so that way the night does not instill its terror upon us. And let's hop in. Hop in. Ah... What a nice first day. So relaxing and calm. I'm just going to leave that here for now. I'll probably come back. You. One emerald for three bread. No thank you. Arrows. That's kind of useful, I guess. Oh, here we go. This is just the man I wanted to see. Perfect. I had just enough for two emeralds. You know what trade I really need to look out for is a melon guy. Melons would be awesome to have. That means I don't have to find an abandoned mine shaft to get um, seeds, and I need them for potions. So there's, I'm gonna look around for a melon trade. And um, eventually, I know people say it's nerfed, like the uh, villager trading and stuff, but I really like it still, and I'm gonna do a lot of that hopefully in this video. And I'm not saying that as a biased person because I'm a villager or anything. Um, <laughs> I do genuinely like it. Alright. That is all the wheat. It's not enough for another emerald, which is unfortunate, but... Get off the bar. I don't need these extra two either. But, um, carrots. These are... Oh, they just fully grew, as I was about to say. They are not. Fully grew? That was really incorrect grammar. I apologize. Get in here. Alright. I'm going to replant because that is the courteous thing to do in these villages. I know villager courtesy. Hello, sheep. Oh, I just ran in here and picked up the two freaking seeds again. Um, goodbye, seeds. And I know I was going to go get those apples, but in all honesty, I don't think it's worth it anymore now that I have four from that. Four or three? Three. Three from the chest. All right, now I have six extra seeds. Get I'm going to keep a stack just in case I, you know, settle down somewhere. Ooh, potatoes now. This is so exciting. I've never messed with these yet. I've been waiting to do a Let's Play to um, do any, you know, the new farming. Ooh, I got a poisonous one. I have to look up the drop chance off 
of that afterward. Poisonous potato. That's what they call me at school. No. Um, sorry about this boring gathering, but I swear we'll get to caving in just a moment. I'm not sure if caving is more enjoyable for you guys, but for me, it is my favorite. Oh, well, one of my favorite things. Exploring in general is my favorite part of the game. A lot more carrots than there are potatoes so far. Which is unfortunate, because potatoes are quite, quite useful. Alright. That is not what I meant to plant. And I just destroyed a carrot, I'm pretty sure. Oh, more potatoes over here. Alright, perfect. Alright, after this small section of potatoes, I shall go into the caves. I really liked how that one cave looked out there. It looked like it went straight down, and down is the direction you go when you're in Minecraft, so that is where we shall be heading. Alright. There's more coal over there. Um, I have a good amount for now, so I'm satisfied. Before I lose another hunger, I know potatoes heal three. Um, so I'm going to cook up. I need two more. Come on, cook, cook, cook. I'm just going to eat this one, and then I'm going to go get that coal, and then I think that'll be good enough to go caving. Mm. That was very good potato. Very delicious indeed. Uh, all right. Mining this coal. I wish there were some cows around here because I would really like to get a book for an enchanting table if I get enough diamond. Because it's unfortunate to have to leave a cave for that. Uh, Alright. I absolutely hate mining coal. This is one thing you'll notice about me. I'll leave a lot of coal behind in caves after I have enough of it. So, that's the one part I hate about starting over. Is, you know... You have to get coal again. Is this a zombie breaking a door? There are more pumpkins in here. I'm taking them. I don't know why. That is loud and obnoxious. I don't really know why I'm taking these pumpkins. Um, but I have a sworn duty to protect these villagers. As the only intelligent member of their... God, shush for a second, boy. I'm coming to kill you. I know that is your utmost desire. Where is he? He's inside, breaking the door down. <laughs> what an idiot. How did he start inside? I guess because it's day? Daytime, you know? And I don't know. What a... What a what a noob. I just need one of these for uh, another emerald. Uh, and then I want to check some more trades just because if there's an, uh, a melon, I'm going to be really happy. I just saw the villagers right there. Where'd they go? Where'd you go, villagers? Where'd you go? Oh, man! That was dumb. Well, at least it gives an example of not being able to regenerate it. Man, oh, I can't believe I just did that. I'm so good at not taking damage. Zombies, stop banging. Stop banging, I say. I know I said I was going to kill him, but he's inside. And he's not even broken part of it. Flint and steel would be okay, but I, don't, I already have the flint and the steel. Or I can get the flint and I don't need this don't need your trades your chicken is cool but there's lava that's interesting don't have enough for a bucket otherwise I would obtain lava oh my god I almost just took another freaking half a heart of damage from that <sighs> fantastic oh yes this is just the man I wanted to see seven melons Amazing. I'm turning one of them into seeds just right off the bat because I don't trust myself to accidentally eat them, even though it's the worst food source. 
Alright, so I just gotta find one more man. No, not you. I shouldn't have even clicked you. You're a blacksmith. Yes, this guy. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Alright, now, let's grab my potatoes. Uh, I should just wait for those last three. Um, while I do that, I'm going to reorganize my already cluttered inventory. I know I'm keeping a lot of stuff that most people wouldn't, but just in case I relocate and I want to plant trees right away, I don't want to have to really wait for that. Okay, wood product. Uh, furnace. This one. Okay, it's out of juice. Um, oh, I could use my pick. And... Hmm. What else can I burn? What else can I burn? Pyromaniac. I'm pretty sure you can burn a fence, right? Well, you can't break it, apparently, because... <laughs> oh! I can't break it, apparently. Give me it. Good job. Alright, yeah, you can. Hopefully it does enough, right? Yeah, it's not going down. They're quite expensive to make fences. They only give you, like, two. Alright, potatoes, done cooking. And, uh, just in time to go down into a brand new cave, a new adventure. We'll see you in a little bit, village. Please, uh, keep growing potatoes and things while I'm gone. Um, hello, sheep. You're dangerously close to the edge there. That is what happens if we fall down there. We die instantly. I already hear a zombie, so that means things are spawning. Very... Not good, actually. It's not very good. I didn't bring my bed, which is my only regret, but I'm not going to be traveling very far. Just downward. He sounds close. Where? I need more blocks. Oh, torches. That's what I need as well. This is how you make torches. Okay, good. It's already becoming nighttime. And I'm not as far down as I had hoped. Quite a dangerous place to be is quite near the is in the middle of a cave. Or not in the middle of a cave. In the middle of a cave is fine, but at the start of a cave, at the near the surface, or and at the start of nighttime, because that means mobs are coming at you. Oh no! From both sides. Poor zombie villager. I cannot save you. So I shall kill you. And it started to rain. Fantastic. That just means nothing will despawn upstairs instead. Two zombies, hey? Eh? Why did he just do a circle? He's like a cat trying to go to bed. I heard another zombie, which frightens me. Maybe he was on the surface now, though, that it's night. I know there's coal down there. I'm not getting it. I'm more more inclined to gather iron right now than coal. Although I, as he says, as he gathers coal, um, the only reason I'm gathering it is for torches and cooking. Pretty sure those are the only two uses anyway, but I need torches so you guys can see, and I need food and iron to smelt. So that's why I'm gathering it. I Once I get a stack, I'm not going to gather any more. I'm not going to go out of my way to gather any in it in the first place. Alright, so we have nine iron. I'm going to just stop and make a chest plate before I take any damage. Oh, that sheep scared me. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to go get that iron while that's cooking. Danger. Danger from every corner. Rain is so annoying. Second night.
What? Where'd the second iron go? Did it fall? Yeah, it fell. I don't know how, but... I hear a spider making its ugly new sound. Ugh. Oh, there it is. Just had to get a better perspective on things. Oh! Oh my. He wanted to kill me. So much so that he tried to kill himself to do so. Alright, two more iron, or one more iron, actually, now that I think about it. Because I had that extra piece that I forgot about. And I left a workbench, great. Number two. You can yell at me in the comments if you really want. I never do when I'm watching people, but it's just me. Cooked iron chest plate. Alright, now I'm better armored. I'll just cook this later when I get the rest. Um, don't make axes. Surprised I even made a shovel. This will probably sit in my inventory for th the whole series. I might do that actually on purpose just so you guys give me something to throw out. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah! He died along with his friend. Oh, there are two spiders down there. And a creeper who really wants to die. <laughs> Apparently, um, down here looks looks dank and cavey, dank and holy too. Getting a few more blocks while I dig over to check out this side, see if there's any easy access material. Oh, yep, there's some iron. All right. Yeah, I'm not even gonna swim up there. Sorry, water. You do not get to be explored. A little bit more coal, I guess. Eh. Am I close to a stack yet? No, I'm halfway. <sighs> oh, well, at least I have enough iron now to move on to iron picks. It's going to be nice. I'm running out of torches too, so I'm gonna stop and do both those things right down here while I feel s where where I feel safe. Thought I heard a skeleton for a second. Oh, the rain stopped. That's convenient. Oh, oh my! Uh, I'll go down there in just a minute. Why didn't that stack? That's strange. Alright. Careful. No mob yet. Mobs, uh, plural. Plural, Chase, plural. Or Traduce, plural. Iron pick. Oh, I don't have any sticks. This is how many sticks you need for a pickaxe, apparently. I just made them. No. Tor <laughs> I'm gonna make a coal iron pick. You... Eh. There's nowhere good to throw you yet. I shall have you dig your own grave. <laughs> yes. Dig your own grave. There. Um... I can also make boots. No, oh, wait. Is there three in there? Okay, I'm not going to be stupid about this. I'm going to make... Boots and... Or, 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 not a, not boots. I'm going to make... What are those things called that you wear on your pants? Pants! What do you, you don't wear them on your pants. I'm sorry. Alright. Good. Just enough for pants. Putting my pants on, putting my pants on. Alright, now I just need boots and I'm in full iron armor. But right now I'm pretty protected. I feel safe in my pants. Alright, continuing on. We're getting close to the end of this episode, though. 
I know I went a little over with the intro, but I'm still going to record 30 minutes of actual video footage. Um, before cutting it off. Ooh, creeper. Oh, ooh, that, that's, that's a bad place. They shouldn't be able to get through that. Come on, spider. Come over here. I'd like to kill him in a place where I know I can get him. Without taking damage. Man, I'm already out of blocks again. Um, I hear a zombie. And that's fine. Zombies are easy. Why did it place two torches? I did not need two torches. I just needed a single torch. All right. More water. Just what just what a guy does not need. Oh god, I hear a skeleton. This is a bad thing. Skeletons do tons of damage in this. Well, no more. Wait, ah, what's my difficulty? Normal? No, we're going on hard. Sorry about that. I should have checked that earlier. Condense into my inventory. Alright, perfect time to eat a potato. And right here is where we will call this episode one episode i call you one all right we will see you all next time thank you very much for watching please feel free to leave a comment um like this video i'm not really concerned about all that i'm just i'm just i'm just here for the ride and you know whatever happens with this happens i hope hope you all enjoyed watching oh skeleton he's seen me what an exciting end See you all in the next episode. Will I live? Will I live?